I get to about nine times you've been with us in the past few years. You always give us a little lesson, a yes. small portion of mime. What can we cook in? Well, maybe we could make a, you know, there's a pantomime which I do in a, called in a, in a restaurant, a coffee shop, where I, I do a certain stick, tartare, you know, and I break eggs, you know. And in reality, this is quite important because there's a difference between doing mime for films and doing mime for the theater. In a film, you would take the eggs and really do it in a certain reality, see? And in, when you have a big audience and there are 4,000 people, you have to create the eggs. Then you do things which are false and become real. For instance, like this. <coughs> big noise, huh? And everything you do has to become a certain rhythm. See? And now you're trying to do the stack and then poivre, and then I try to <laughs> And now I give it to you, and you're going to take a fork and a knife and to tell me if you like it. And you're going to, to try to eat the steak. I've got it in my hands, haven't oh, I? Oh, in the hands, it's hot. It's hot. No, it's in the plate, yes. In the plate. Take a fork and a, a knife, and you're going to eat the steak. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Thank But you really have to feel the, the solidness of the object. You just can't casually. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you see, the most typical thing is you would take oh, take a, a cup of tea or something, and the people would start doing this instead of knowing that you open it first, and you have to, to keep the measurement of the cup. The weight. The weight. And, and not to lose it, not that it becomes smaller and smaller. You see, you have to really start yeah. the object. For instance, before doing the concerto. Mm -hmm. right? You see, I try hats in a number called at the closer. You try hats. Try to put on a hat and different hat size to small to big ones. How would you do if you have hats? You have to try a hat. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. And it would be too, yes, and too big, for instance. Yes. Well, you have, you have, yes, you see, yes, it's all right. No. But you see, in the theater, you would do. When it's too small, it would be... <coughs> and, uh, for instance, clothes. Could, could we go there? Yeah, we have, we have a minute here. No, yeah. we, what are we going to do? Well, for instance, it's too late. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too late for the clothes. Let's imagine that we shall end with a nice concerto. Concerto. You play the piano, and I play the fiddle. See? Now, you play the piano, and I will have the violin ready. <laughs> Excuse me. Take it. Okay. You start. Try to take the violin, for instance. No, I've never. Right. You see, to take the violin here. Like this? On your chin. Mm -hmm. And then you do this. Well, it's hanging out here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then you take the. Yeah. And then you start. 
Please, go ahead. Oh, no, you make it. No, I'm not going to follow that. That's all right. That's all right. May I take yours? Thank you. <laughs> Good. Good. And Bo? And you, you wait for the Bo. Take Where? the Bo behind you. Where's Bo? It's all right. Take it in the air. Oh. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. Good. <laughs> 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 I would love to go there sometime and take some just for the fun of it. You know, at the time of the Comedia dell'arte, the Italian Comedia, they improvised like this, you know, and they had the theme. But you really have to feel and see those things. It sounds so simple, but you have to see the weight and everything. You carry a certain weight. This is why you lose weight every night. That was fun. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. Oh, you got to run, don't you? You're going to be at the Pasadena Auditorium out here.